Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this month, I let you know that a recent Windows 11 24H2 update was causing installation failures, blue screens of death, and there were also problems with remote desktop connectivity that had also been reported, and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, none of those issues were officially confirmed by Microsoft. That was just reports doing the rounds on online forums. But if you were experiencing any issues regarding the remote desktop connectivity issues, then just to let you know in regards to that, that Microsoft now has officially confirmed issues with um, remote desktop over on the known issues health dashboard page. So just a quick update to keep you in the loop. Now, Microsoft says that after installing the January 2025 Windows Preview Update, KB5050094, and later updates, users might experience unexpected disconnections with remote desktop protocol RDP sessions, in, including remote desktop services, where Microsoft says it had observed a significant increase in reports of this issue following the release of the March 2025 Windows Security Update, KB5053598. So, um, quite a lot of update issues regarding um, this remote desktop. Now, the symptoms basically were that Microsoft says that users might notice that RDP sessions unexpectedly disconnect after 65 seconds when establishing UDP-based connections from Windows 11 version 24H2. And resulting from this issue, users might experience frequent disconnections. So that was basically the issue that Microsoft now has officially confirmed. But the good news is that it has been resolved. And Microsoft has resolved the issue by using a known issue rollback. And most home and pro devices, they say, should automatically receive the rollback. And restarting your device may apply it sooner. Now, just a quick recap regarding what a known issue rollback is all about, in case you're unaware. KRR, as it's also known, is a Windows servicing technology that enables Microsoft to reverse or disable specific problematic changes introduced by a non-security update. So as an example, the problem started with this non-security update that rolled out towards the end of January. And how it works is basically that instead of uninstalling the entire update, KRR targets only the problematic components, leaving other enhancements intact, minimizing disruptions. And it's basically a server-side update that Microsoft applies from their side. So you don't have to install another update or anything like that. So that's basically what a known issue rollback is all about. And just letting you know that that has been resolved. So if you want to speed up the process, as mentioned, um, it can take up to 48 hours for that server-side known issue rollback to be affected and come into effect. So I always say just restart your device if you want to quicken up the process. And uh, that should speed up that KRR. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.